Hello Viking Nation. The fall weather is here and it finally stopped raining. It's about time. Julia and Abby took advantage of the good weather to visit Connor's farm for some fall vibes. Here's how the day went. So we're going we're to, to farm. Connor's farm. <laughs> we're so excited. <laughs> so we're on our way. See you there. Okay, we made it to the farm. It's really crowded. It's so packed. So we're getting all night, trying to get all night tickets, but we don't have Wi-Fi or data. It's, it's so not going well. We're off the grid. <laughs> Okay, so we got it. We're and about we're, to go. We're going to get some cookies. Hey guys, we're headed to the corn maze. We're so, so excited. And we'll see you in there. And we're going to go see some black animals. Yes. Okay, so I'm in the corn maze. Um, Julia is actually missing so I'm alone but there's a lost sign so I need to text them if I'm lost <laughs> so we've broken off from the group it's just me and Charlotte now yeah, and we're going through us. the maze but it's taking us quite some time so <laughs> yeah, but it's like all kids, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Abby can't get her I shoes on time, so I'm helping her. We're on the hunt for caramel apple, but they only have the coconut one. Okay, we got slush and apple. Okay, so we're going on the train, but there's no phones. No phones and no food, so what am I gonna do with my know. apple? I have so to hide it. Food. We're feeling unseparated. <laughs> we're leaving the phone. I've heard it eight and a half or nine out of ten. So fun. But we didn't realize what there was to do until like it was time to go. But it was so fun. Highly recommend. Connor's Farm in Danvers. So fun. Bye! That looks like a lot of fun. I love me some caramel apples. Yeah, and I think that corn maze would have been the end of me. It was good to see friends making memories that together that will last a lifetime. Up next, Kim interviews his grandmother to find out what kind of memories she has from her childhood. Our elders have a plethora of knowledge that they've gained from decades of life on this earth. Today, I interview my grandmother to try and tap into some of that knowledge and gain some more wisdom. Who am I here with today? You are with your grandmother, your maternal grandmother. When you were a kid, what did you and your friends do? Probably a lot of the same things that you guys do now. A lot of getting together with our friends, a lot of sleepovers, a lot of, we did a lot of cooking. We did, we did a lot of making pizzas. Um, record players. We yeah. listened to music and the Beatles were big back in my yeah. teenage years. And, but uh, mainly our friendships were the most important thing. What were some important world events that were happening when you were young? Yeah, a lot of very important things. Two things that stick out in my head the most was when John F. Kennedy was assassinated. I was in high school, I was in study hall. I came out of my study hall and everybody was all in a tizzy about something. And we found out that John Kennedy had been assassinated. Very, very traumatic. It stopped the world for a while. But in my world, the biggest event that happened was that my high school turned down. I was in study hall, it was a drizzly rainy day, and the fire alarm went off, and I thought, this is not a good time for a fight drill, because I was studying for an exam. <laughs> so off we went, and then I walked out of the building, and up in the roof of the building there were flames and smoke coming out of the roof of the building. And what were some of the fashion trends when you were a teen? 
really interesting ones. <laughs> well, they're very different from what you guys wear, but um, we had to wear skirts, the girls had to wear skirts. We could not wear pants in school. Jeans, definitely, we probably would have been sent home. <laughs> we used to wear um, curlers in our hair, and it was not a good, it was not good to sleep in curlers, but we all did it, and they were big curlers, and it was smooth hairdos. When did you get your first job and what was it? I was 14 wow. when I started that job. Wow. Yeah. My first real job, I made 93 cents an hour. Wow. And I worked at the Amesbury Hospital in the kitchen, uh, helping set up the trays and deliver the trays to the patients' rooms. I learned a lot about cooking. I really enjoyed the job. So. Finally, what were the biggest differences in your childhood than mine? For sure. Technology, we had no technology. Yeah. Computers were not developed until way, way, way later. We walked to school, we carried books, we carried big stacks of books. TVs that were this size, black and white. I don't even think we had a TV for a long time. We played outside all the time. Yeah. I know you guys did when you were growing up. But, mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, so things were extremely different back then. Mm -hmm. But technology was the biggest. Well. Thank you very much, Mimi. For You're very this. welcome, Cam. I hope uh, this is a big, big VTV debut for you, and I, I hope to it's get you. definitely a debut. <laughs> I hope to get you back on sometime soon. Well, thank you very much for asking me. For VTV, I'm Cam McDonald. Did I hear her say that she and her friends did a lot of cooking together back in high school? Yes, she did, and some things never change. I wonder if it's true that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well, if it is, then I don't know why I'm single. I'm a great cook. Welcome, Welcome back, back bikes. bikes. Do you know what the perfect way to get into the fall season feeling is? What? To make a fall treat. Follow along as we make a pumpkin roll. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. Line a 15 by 10 pan with an extra inch of parchment paper hanging over the sides. In a large bowl, mix together flour, salt, baking soda, cinnamon, and pumpkin spice. In a separate bowl, combine eggs, sugar, vanilla, and pumpkin until smooth. Slowly combine dry ingredients into wet ingredients until there are no dry streaks. Spread batter evenly into a prepared pan and bake for 14 to 15 minutes. Immediately after your cake is done, lift the cake out of the hot pan using the tabs that you left before and place on a cooling rack. While the cake is still hot, start at one of the short ends and roll up the cake and parchment paper. Leave out to cool. While your cake cools, mix together cream cheese, butter, vanilla, and powdered sugar with an electric mixer until smooth. Once the cake is completely cooled, make sure you very carefully unroll it and spread your filling over it. After frosting, roll the cake back up, this time without the parchment paper, cover with plastic wrap, and refrigerate for at least one hour. This step is optional. You can dust the top of your roll with powdered sugar. Time to try our fall treat. Mm, this is really good. This definitely puts me in the fall mood. Thanks for watching, Bites. We hope this gets you in the fall mood. From, From VTV, VTV, I'm Molly. And I'm Jacob. 
Nothing says fall more than pumpkin-flavored sweets. And football. Yeah, football. The class of 2025 held a tailgate funders before a Triton football game recently. Mia went and put together this montage. Check it out. With a dream, my cardigan. Welcome to the land of fame, excess. Am I gonna fit in? Jumped in the cab, here I am for the first time. Look to my right, and I see the Hollywood sign. This is all so crazy. Everybody seems so famous. My tummy's turning, and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure, and I'm nervous. How's the tailgate going? You like it? Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun. The next tailgate party is next Friday before the football team's senior night. Don't miss it. It'll be a lot of fun. Some of our favorite segments to make here at VTV are the ones we get to talk to you guys. This week, we sent our crew around to ask you why you chose the picture you have on your lock screen. Here's what you said. Today, we're taking on Triton and asking our students and faculty what their home screens are and why. This is Julia's home screen. It says, there's only you for me. There's only ever been. Why? Oh, you. <laughs> my, actually, my lock screen is actually of Audrina and us from the camera and it's stripped because I love Audrina and she's a day one, so. This is my mans. I love my mans. My brother and I love my brother. Uh, my home screen is my three daughters. It's my boat. Me getting detained in Hampton because um, it's a fire flick. The picture of a sunset because I used to work at this place and they always have pretty sunsets on the water. It's my little guy. He just started playing hockey. So. Hey. Why? <laughs> because it was a, uh, an exciting day at uh, Fenway Park when I went to hear the Grateful Dead. Me and Lexi playing football after our game against um, Essex Tech. My lock screen is picking my dog because I love him. It's my little brother, me and my dog, because it's a cute little picture. Uh, it's me and Riley McIsaac in Niagara Falls, because it's pretty and she's my best friend. And then it also has my schedule, because I'm bad with times. So, I have a turtle. People think that I took this off of Google, but I actually took this in Florida. What's your lock screen want? It's me and my girlfriend, because we're dating. Um, my lock screen is a picture of me and my best friends because I love them. What's your lock screen? Whistle. Boring. I love Whistle. <laughs> me too. Picture of me and my brother. Why? Uh, cause he's at college now and I miss him. Um, my dead dog. <laughs> um, R.I.P. Sorry Rocky, I love you Rocky. My dog is my favorite love. <laughs> He's so cute. Or she. Uh, it's the preamble of the Declaration of Independence. And I just, I think it's important to know. It is very important to know. My lock screen is of me and Tegan. We both got shirts from Mr. Colbert that says we got the dog in there. Oh yeah. If you mind, can you show us your lock screen and tell us the importance behind us? Well. This is my lock screen, and that's a message from my wife. Um, I have got a sunfish sailboat on my screen because I own one, and I love sailing, and every time I open up my phone and look at this, I feel lake vibes. All right, my lock screen is a picture of me wrestling, but it's me pointing up because my mother had passed that day. Yeah. Good stuff. I appreciate it. I got you. So, boom. That's my girl. You know what I'm saying? We're de we've been dating for what, like three months now? You know what I'm saying? Going strong, going strong. Mm -hmm. um, this is a picture I took with my camera on my birthday last year. Mr. Colbert, uh, can you show us your lock screen and tell us what the importance is behind it? Uh, th there's absolutely no importance behind this lock screen. It's simply what came with the phone. Okay. Um, I feel like it must be nice to have time to think about what your lock screen is going to be. Mm -hmm. I don't. 
Thank you to everyone that helped me make this video and that participated in this video. From VTV, I'm Audrina. Peace out, Fikes. The Triton boys soccer team doesn't get as much love as a football team these days, so VTV went to one of their games to show Viking Nation what they're missing. Roll the tape. This is our time, this is our time. Buried our roots on the front lines. Digging in deep for the long night. Heart be steady, heart be steady. Been fighting so hard all of my life. Getting so close and it feels like I'm taking my place in the spotlight. Better get ready. Oh, 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 oh. We don't back down. We don't back down. This is what we're made of. Standing on our ground, here it goes down. Nice job, guys. That was hype. Well, that's it for our show. We hope you were entertained. For my partner, Sophie, I'm Ava. Have a great weekend, bikes. I look disgusting today, bro. Okay, well, I think we're ready. Okay. But did we not just film? No. That was it. That was practice. That was practice. The, you want us to film with the iPad right there? Of the good weather to visit Connor's farm for some fall vibes. Here's how the day went. <laughs> 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 Hello, Viking Nation. A <laughs> <laughs> couple seconds of silence, then go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell was that? Cam interviews his grandmother to find out what kind of memory she has from her childhood. Her! Her! <laughs> yeah, and I think that coin maze would have been the end of me. It was good to see friends making memories. Can you look at me one? Like, I'm trying to like talk to you, but you're just staring dead at the screen. Up next, Cam interviews his grandmother to find out what kind of memories she <laughs> Brother, that one was so good until you did that. Then life. wink at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> did you just eat your finger? <laughs> My head hurts like a I have to use the bathroom. Yeah. Nothing says fall more than pumpkin flavored sweets. And football. Right. Football. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs>
go, dude. That was a little aggressive. Yes, that was great. I'm so oh. proud. <laughs> <laughs>